Yo, what is up gamers? Today we're playing The Lost and checking out Obituary. This item we saw once before while playing the Deliverance mod and it was absolutely not so. I'm combining it with Rock Bottom because these two items are gonna go hand in hand. What is in our first curse room? Okay, hello. Curse room gives us Devil Room with more red chests and that's basically nothing. Okay, time to go. So as you can see, look at that. Bablemo. A humongous damage up has just been obtained. So what's going on here? First treasure room. I definitely don't want the- Oh! Okay. Hey, dude. I, all, right, all right, I'll take a Dr. Feeder, sure. <laughs> What's going on here? So, Obituary on enemy kill gives you a humongous damage up initially and also gives you a minimum damage up for every enemy you kill until, like, uh, like a lot of enemies. I, I think there's a cap to it all the way up to, like, 15 base damage. So what we're gonna do is kill as many enemies as we can, get to that maximum cap, and try our best to complete the game with a humongous damage stat that will be ever-increasing throughout the run. Little Horn will give us Synth Oil. More damage is pretty nice. Let's go down. Yeah, so we had this uh, item a bit ago. Hello, Crackjacks. And you guys just... Oh my lord, that damage up is nuts. You guys mentioned how crazy this item would seem with Rock Bottom. So you know what? I'll appeal to what you guys want. You guys want to see Obituary Rock Bottom? I will do it. Now, at some point during this run, probably very soon, actually, I'm gonna stop getting damage ups from this. But all we wanted was the base damage ups. Then we can start combining it with damage multipliers like the strength card, which if you don't know, the strength card is literally just magic mushroom for a room. It's the exact same stats and everything. It's even a damage multiplier. And we're gonna see what kind of major statistics we can get to by the end game. Hello, mega host. I don't like the idea of you. Please don't hit me. What is this? Rules card? Chub dislikes smoke. Now that is a classic. Good to see you. You guys remember the glitch? I guess it wasn't really a glitch. It was kind of a bug. Where whenever you use rules card, it literally only gave you Chubb's dislike smoke. I, like, I don't know why it happened, but it was just a thing. Now whenever it shows up, I feel like it's culture. Hello, blind moment. Lost Fly is incredible. He just liked me for real, for real. It does seem like our obituary is maxed out. So if I don't get a uh, damage up from here, which I do, which is why I waited for a bit. And I'll check this out because, you know, why not? Who cares? Sulfur. What's up? Reroll. I get to keep the item. And Guppy's call is great. At this point, we have our damage maxed out. Let's use the strength card and not actually get a damage up because I guess I don't know how rock bottom works bozo check the super secret room and oh my gosh get an extra revive Heal as a health up that's pretty useless and then we will go I don't want to go to the shop yet because I am the land feeling like going caves today not the downpour for no other reason than I've been to downpour a lot recently and I like the change of pace now at the end of the day no matter how much damage you have a doctor fetus lost run will always be scary at any point I really could die and we're gonna have to bank on hopefully Gubby's collar doing some major things for me. Hey, so I was playing Overwatch recently, just randomly in quick play, and some people recognize me and they're like, hey Matt, if that's really you, we'd like to let you know that your microphone kind of bugs out like every like minute or so, and we're hoping that you would fix it. Now, I would first like to say, yo, what up dudes, nice to see you, appreciate it for telling me. Uh, I know, like I, I straight up know. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it, but I'm hoping as I'm recording this that maybe it is potentially fixed. I bought a replacement for my microphone. It's the exact same microphone, I didn't get Get a new one it's the hyper quadcast whatever the hell you know it's not sponsored so i'm not gonna finish that sentence because you know me i'm not about that life but the point is is that i've replaced the microphone hopefully that random ass cracking that happens every now and then it no longer happens and if it does then i'm getting a completely different microphone and i'm gonna fix it for you but don't worry i am aware and i am trying to get it done let me know if there's some weird audio bugs in this video as well i was about to shop right above me booster pack i could probably get more than that oh smelter you know, a 7 cent smelter actually is pretty good. I can go back and get that uh, charged hairpin trinket that I left behind. Box of friends, not so much. Mom's bottle, no. Anything. I'm gonna get a fast reroll here. Pay to play. Nah, it's not that hype. And finally, one big reroll where I absolutely destroy it all. Oh, you know what I just remembered and the reason why like strength card didn't work is because I need to find a strength card and then use it after immediately killing an enemy because that's what's giving me my, my big damage up. Oh, okay, I know. Okay, next time I find like a devil card or something, we'll be doing that instead. Treasure room, lard. I mean, it's literally a useless item on all degrees. It's time to reroll that item for sure. We also got a Gertie fight. We can see our true damage here and we can see it's literally maybe a bit higher than we were expecting. Spun progress is incredible. We lock in the 10 luck. This 
is the only way to get perfection luck without losing it. Even if you do smelt it, if you get hit, you lose it. So this is ours forever. Roll the lard into book. Which is, you know, that's fine, but I don't need this either. We got another roll available. And Bablamo. Oh, uh, yeah, this is really good as well. Could save my life. I'm really hoping for damage multipliers at this point, you know. I want to hit the maximum. Get as many as we can. If it's not possible, I will be trying to figure out just, like, what the absolute maximum is. Because I feel like with this specific item, in combination with, like, a Deadeye Rock Bottom, which I guess isn't even that possible anymore because I got Dr. Fetus. But in a perfect scenario, it could probably be really good. Onto the flooded caves. Vault to my right. Looking juicy. Triple chest into some pickups. I really don't have a use for bombs, to be honest with you. I don't know if you've known, but I literally shoot them out of my face. However, the keys are appreciated. Dice room as well over here. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I probably won't be doing this, but thank you. Okay, boss challenge room provides us with marbles now. Marbles was incredible, but I'm gonna roll. Oh, I guess I'll try and roll it again. Marbles is really good, but the main reason I care about marbles is whoopsies. Specifically, the passive it provides. The three trinkets it drops is okay at best. It seems like the most damage I've taken is actually self-damage, which checks out for Dr. Fetus. We gotta be more aware of that. Okay, that's not happening. I have 10 luck. You are nuts if you think I'm gonna have that happen to me. We will be re-rolling. Thoughts? Concerns? Yes? No? Don't worry. We know I'm correct in this scenario. All right. Another shop, Greed. Greed's good for specifically the shop. This means that even if we get Greed for the next shop, which has to be Ultra Greed, we have at least one shop that is guaranteed to be absolutely clean and free of any of those dudes. So that's majorly exciting. We might be able to do a bit of a rig there. Check these mushrooms for anything. Nada. And then final roll here. How did I know it was going to be a final roll? The vibes were immaculate. I just knew it was going to delete. Sometimes you just kind of know, you know? Oh, look down. Doesn't matter though. Rock bottom carrying my ass forever and ever yo what up it's chad i'm glad we found you because this means we get to re-roll yeah we do not need chad oh but i want to roll the devil though this is better oh wait but i don't not at all dude a double shot for krampus how high is our damage i uh i do want to roll oh okay that's good that's really really good I guess we'll just take the Chad uh, and then we'll go, yeah. Next enemy we kill, we're gonna get a major damage up. Necropolis extra large, huh? Wasn't thinking of finding an extra large, but the more the merrier, I suppose. We just need more damage items in general. And the fact that we found our treasure room so early is really good. Spelunked your hat. Not very necessary with the items that we have. Maybe a roll. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let me just complete this room really quickly, and then I'm gonna reverse Emperor. And see what's going on on the other side. Teratoma is a scary fight for us. Like, this is just straight up no bueno. However, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing fine. For our build specifically, that was a bit terrifying, but these spiders stand no chance and we get uh, range luck meh what the hell are you mystery bag drops three random runes well i gotta take it a black rune a black rune and a perthro okay <laughs> can't use any of these so i gotta take the perthro with me sure that's good we get a guaranteed reroll for whenever we want to use it probably on the chest where i am planning to personally go at which point we'll be getting four major items i'm sure what is you oh my god wait that's actually good i mean this is genuinely really good straw scales off of your own damage i don't need to tell you how absurd that would be i press space bar everything dies but what the hell? Dude, these new enemies are freaking me the hell out. <laughs> but there's no way I'm giving up the ED6. Now, unfortunately, we did come across an extra large depth. Meaning that whole shebang I did, and I said, whoa, 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 don't kill me. Where I was like, oh, dude, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna get super greed is actually plausible. I actually think it will happen. Now, that's not the end of the world. We do have a use. Oh my god, don't die, don't die, don't die. We're good, don't worry about it. Poof, Jesus Christ. It's not the end of the world. We still have a use for money, specifically money equals power and different crane games that we come across. But I'd really love to spend my money elsewhere, just like a shop, just to make myself feel good. Go treat yourself and like, it's some popcorn while watching a movie at least like once a year you'd be surprised how much it does for the mental <laughs> and i must admit it's very jarring for me to see me kill an enemy not see the damage go up but then pick up coins and then kill an enemy and then i get my damage to go up not very used to it at all it's a one of a kind feeling <laughs> with specifically money equals power i'm not used to it but that's okay that mob challenge room was no problemo all right here we go we got another one here Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you trying to give me a stroke right now? Do not bust my balls. You gotta give me a good reroll, please. 
I'm begging you. What? Uh, wait, hold on. Doesn't this work with Dr. Fetus? I see no reason why not. It does. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Could be the leading cause of death. <laughs> Nine out of ten doctors do not recommend taking Dr. Fetus with Nancy Bombs, but I am not one of them. I'm here to freaking game, so let's do it. No matter how chaotic it gets. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's wonderful news. We do get a quarter, but I kind of just want to re-roll it. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Oh! oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, Super Greed showing up in the secret room means that he is not at the shop. We could have taken the quarter for the instantaneous 99 coins, but with how things are going, we're gonna hit 99 no matter what. So that's okay. Use the pill. Drowsy's great to find. We'll probably find the shop sooner rather than later. And at that point, there's nothing that can stop me. I'm certain. Uh, Pop the judgment and get a better deal chance. Plus all this cash money. Let's continue to roll that really bad treasure room. Boom. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> I did have this crane game. I'm gonna lose all of my money by doing this. But I think it's worth just because I'm, I'm curious. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Dude, my crane game luck is not exactly significant recently. I'm gonna do it for the pentagram. I do not mind. Okay, you know what? I lost basically all my cash. I don't think this was too bad overall. Right, we get a pentagram. And then reroll? Oh, sack dagger. Sack dagger's okay. Could save my life. I'm gonna go for more though. We won't be seeing a damage up probably for the upcoming two floors or so. Not until I get my cash flow back up. Once that happens, that investment will definitely pay off. I know I said that they're good, but I'm just curious. Okay, goodbye. I do love the fact that there's so much attention to detail for the bomb items. Like before, it was crazy to see Dr. Fetus work with anything. And now you get to use Dr. Fetus with butt bombs and sad bombs. And now you got the butt bombs that are crying specifically. Like that's just such an incredible sight. Seeing them all together is like one of a kind. Another shop? No, I do not want Mogonian bombs, my dude. Absolutely not. Just give me the cash instead, please. Kerblamo. No, 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 no. Thank God I'm not blind on this floor. Otherwise, that would have been wraps for your boy. I actually would have instantly died. <laughs> Last reroll. You know what? I I don't want best butter. Are you kidding me? I will take the HP up. <laughs> okay, now we finally get to see our major damage that we built up throughout the course of the run. Almost two-shotting adversary is nuts. And we get even more damage because the binge is popping off now. So fighting mom should be easy. Where are you? Oh my God, I'm almost dead. There we go. Um, it's better to go Polaroid as the loss because you only get to pick one darkroom item. And over here, Lusty Blood is up there. Ceremonial. I I want damage more than anything, right? So this is probably the best choice. Damage is our highest priority. So let's prioritize that. We've had a couple close calls at this point where I've gotten hit like once per room. Not exactly a fan of the heart attack it gives me, but that is the nature of the beast. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. Hey, no, that's fine. As long as we're keeping on our toes and in the rare case scenario that I absolutely bone myself over, we do have a failsafe with maybe Guppy's collar popping off. Now at this point, I do have to pose the question to myself. Do I go hush? Uh, oh man. With this specific kind of build, I mean, I feel confident, but I also don't. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can totally beat hush, but also what if I mess up? I'm thinking if I don't go for it, then, you know, what even gamer am I? I have to at least attempt, but I'm definitely not excited for it because I think there's a real chance that I lose. That's only theoretically if I like naturally make it to Hush, by the way. Like, I'm not gonna force it and skip rooms trying to get there. But if we get there, you know, when we get there, when you get there, when we get there, and Hush is available, then yeah, let's do it. Did you know the leading cause of heart attacks in the Binding of Isaac is taking Nancy Bombs with Dr. Fetus? <laughs> For specifically, like, that reason. See, this is why I don't want to fight Hush, man. There's some things I feel like I just can't control. <laughs> it does not help that vasculitis is constantly popping off and shooting random tears in random directions. And part of me genuinely is getting a little bit confused when I see all those tears. Oh, hello. A bunch of different stuff. Red chest, troll bombs, just more coins. Nothing crazy here. Okay, double secret room with all the money in the world. Okay. <laughs> oh! oh my god, thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna go fight Hush if I can. <laughs> For that only, I will be doing it. I can't believe the magic mushroom showed up. We have 99 coins with the magic mushroom in play. All I gotta do is kill one enemy with uh, preferably a lot of enemies available in the room so I get to proc Lusty Blood as well. And then simply, my damage will skyrocket. There it is. I will take this and then in here. Ah, uh, but it's fine. Roll. 
It's also fine. Like, it's not that crazy. I guess I'll take this. Okay, if I naturally find the boss really early, I'll be heading to Hush. Otherwise, I don't want to lose just such a beautiful run where we hit... Oh my god, we hit the 100 mark. It's happening, guys. Now, all we gotta do... Oh, hold on. Some card. I know where I'm going. With that, yeah, let's, let's go fight Hush. All we gotta do is find a little bit of damage multiplier, and that should be all we need to hit even greater heights. One quick check in here. Tears up. We don't care about that too much. I guess I might as well roll uh hp into hp <laughs> yeah no not happening get me out of this goddamn room what is this hellhole gurglings my opposite of beloved what is the opposite of beloved i i don't know but i hate you get me out oh a zazel rage bit of a random proc but i appreciate it for helping me with the eye lasers no deal that's okay i guess i just want to do this because why not <laughs> it's and let's go, dude. A bit scary, but I'm down to try. All right, let's check out what's going on here. A bunch of money. So let's check out the shop first so we can refresh our money. What is that? The divider. Brings pickups lying on the floor to their simplest form. Nickel turns into five coins. Hearts turn into two halves, etc. That seems cool, but a little bit like uh, rig heavy, you know? Specifically made to make you rig the game. Not the type of run I have today. What about in here? Oh, yay. <laughs> Sure, sure. I got the Aki way, bros. If I die, I die. This is how it is. I am. You got me hella messed up if you think I'm taking the eyesore, though. Give me the soul. That is humongous. Thank you. Let's go ahead and farm for a crawl space. Could land it here. We did not. So I spend my roll on the divider. <laughs> I don't know why I find that name so funny. Not too useful either. I mean, moving box is great and all, but I don't have a school bag to make it work. So let's just uh, get really scared and then use the magician in here. And try our best. I mean, I think we can do it. Absolutely, freaking lootly. It's just a question of, will I explode myself? <laughs> Why is my shot speed so high? <laughs> this is scary, actually. I don't know if I can do this. I mean, I'm gonna kill him really fast. Oh my god. My damage is really good. <laughs> Wait, I'm about to demolish this guy in like five seconds. He's almost dead. That's- Oh! Did you guys see that damage? What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, if that's how we want to play it, let's let's do it. Okay, I'm going up, bye-bye. It has been a long time since I have killed Hush that fast. A wonderful feeling to be sure. Now, that being said, I'm still terrified because I got Dr. Fetus Parasite. And did you see how fast my shot speed was on that room? I was shooting those bombs halfway across the screen within like 50 miles per hour. That was a big room. So to apply this to a smaller room where i got a lot less uh, control over what i'm doing is a bit scary absolutely i'm probably dead right here actually i gotta go in here i have to i have to i was gonna die there's an algae's rune oh okay 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 if i get hit on this room while trying to do it i'll use the algae's if i don't which looks like maybe the case i'll use it on the isaac fight okay we're good Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Relax. <laughs> Let's go beat Isaac really quickly. I don't know why this one got so scary, dude. I'm not mentally prepared, but the damage is way too high. If I could just push through, this will go crazy. Here we go. Final order of business. We get everything jar. Ew. Oh. That's really big, thank you. And as well as, uh, no, not too useful. Reroll? Don't tell me that soy milk. You, no way. <laughs> no, no, no way. No, no, not gonna happen whatsoever. There is a D1. If I can find a chest spawn randomly, I'd love to, you know, do that. But as it stands, my only concern right now is can we get to the end of the game? And I don't know if that's possible. I'm just gonna try my freaking damnedest. I don't really know what happened in this room, but I got plus 5 damage. I'm a fan. Can I roll into a really big damage multiplier? Maybe. Maybe I rolled a really low damage multiplier for all I know. Nope. Nope, I definitely got a big damn- oh! And a 2020. Okay, things are cooking. This chest is going crazy. I got a huge damage multiplier. 190. I don't even have that much damage. <laughs> but that D8 roll was the thing we needed to cook. Okay. We're shooting even more bombs now. Dealing way too much damage within one shot. Oh my god, I found blue baby. I kind of just want to go because I'm scared. I'll- I'm gonna go balls, hell yeah. With the balls in play, that leads me to believe that the game wants me to go. It gave me everything I need. I don't want to mess this up. Please just kill Blue Baby within one shot. And I, uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear the rest of the floor then. Reroll, worm friend. Uh, sure. Tech point five. This is actually an immaculate item. Scales with your damage really good. And there's nothing you really need to do to make it like work. 
it kind of just does everything you need it to. Bomber Boy is a throw item. <laughs> this item is it's not going on my priority list. Another one, little Loki, sure. Really don't know how I feel about getting conjoined right now, but I won't deny it if it happens. Metronome could give me death certificate. Once in a blue moon, it might just happen, and that's deleted. A ton of chests, not really sure why, but I'm happy to see it. Working out for me really well, thank you. Even more, do I have like Guppy's tail or something? What, what's going on here? Piercing? That's really bad with Dr. Fetus. Even more stuff, punching bag is great, let's reroll you. Holy water is also incredible, and we got a double battery here. We are stacking ourselves up for this mythical delirium fight that I promise you will not be going well, but, you know, get hype if you want, I suppose. <laughs> if you really think it's gonna happen, you know, you can you can assume it will. But I know my limits, and my limits are, dude, if I got this chaotic of a build with only the loss to go with, and no other defensive prowess, there's only so much one man can do. Give me the conjoined progress. I will give it my all, though, for sure. I'm about to die again. We got a fortune tell maybe another alge's rune that would be a win con 100 percent no all right well let's take the hermit card fight delirium and see what happens all right i'm gonna use this random tp head somewhere i don't know and try and find this guy can't be you right oh god all right lock in press q i have soul of azazel pop it off azazel's rage i need you to not do that right now actually and then maybe he just dies instantly and then i don't die or maybe i'm instantly dead and that's it gg where are you? 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 Stop it! It's <laughs> I need you to show up so I can actually hit you. Did you see how much damage that did? That chunk? My freaking goodness. Dude, if I hit him once, he's dead. But it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry. There's only so much I can do with an enemy you cannot see! <gasps> yes! It happened! At the moment you saw it in my mind, in my eyes, in my voice, the moment he showed up in front of me face form, I knew it was over. I just needed that one bomb to go off. We did it with a humongous damage stat. I had a lot of fun with this one and GG's.